we are reading Winnie's new computer. Winnie the witch had a new computer. She was very excited. Her cat Wilbur was excited too. He thought something interesting might happen and he didn't want to miss it. Winnie plugged in the computer, turned it on and clicked the mouse. Come on mouse, she said. Is that a mouse? thought Wilbur. It doesn't look like one. Winnie went onto the internet. Wilbur wanted a closer look at the mouse. He patted it. Don't touch the mouse, Wilbur, said Winnie. I want to order a new wand. Wilbur patted the mouse again. Pat, pat. Winnie was cross. She put Wilbur outside. She didn't notice that it was raining. Wilbur noticed it was raining. He was getting wet. He watched Winnie through the window. She was having a good time. She ordered her new wand and then she visited, visited some websites for witches. They had some very funny jokes. Ha ha ha, laughed Winnie. Wilbur wasn't laughing. The rain was dripping off his whiskers. Meow, he cried, but Winnie didn't hear him. noise asked Winnie. It was the rain. It was coming through the roof. Oh no, said Winnie. The rain will ruin my new computer. I need the roof repair spell. But she couldn't find her book of spells or her magic wand anyway. Oh where are they? she cried as the rain plopped down. At last she found them. She waved her wand seven times at the roof and shouted, Abracadabra! The roof stopped leaking. Thank goodness, Winnie said. Then she had a wonderful idea. If I scan all my spells into the computer, she said, I won't need my book of spells anymore. I won't need to wave my magic wand. I'll just use the computer. One click will do the trick. So Winnie loaded all her spells into the new computer. I'd better try it out, she said. What shall I do? I know, I'll turn Wilbur into a blue cat. She let Wilbur inside. She went to the computer, clicked the mouse, and Wilbur was bright blue. Good, she said Winnie, it works. She clicked the mouse, and Wilbur was a black cat again. An angry, wet black cat. Well, Wilbur said Winnie, I won't need my book of spells or magic wand anymore. And she put them out for the dustman to take away. That night, Wilbur waited until he could hear Winnie snoring. Then he crept downstairs. He was going to see about that mouse. He patted it. Nothing happened. He snarled. He grabbed the mouse, tossed it into the air and rolled onto his back. Zap! The computer came on. Zap! Wilbur turned bright blue. Zap, zap, zap. Winnie had a lovely sleep. In the morning, she came downstairs for her breakfast. Breakfast, Wilbur, she called. Where are you, Wilbur? She looked in the garden, in the bathroom, in all the cupboards. No Wilbur. Then she looked in the computer room. Oh no, cried Winnie. Wilbur, where are you? And where's the computer? She reached into the cupboard for her book of spells. She put her hand in her pocket for her magic wand. Then she remembered. She ran to the window. The dustman was tipping her rubbish into his trunk. Stop, shouted Winnie. Stop. But it was too late. The dustman couldn't hear her. He jumped into his truck and drove away. What shall I do, cried Winnie. Then another truck came through the gate. My new one, said Winnie. It's arrived, thank goodness. She grabbed the new one, waved it once and shouted, Abracadabra. The book of spells flew out of the rubbish truck, up into the air. And dropped into her arms. 
When he rushed inside and look, looked at the spell to make things come back. Then she shut her eyes, waved her wand four times and shouted, Abracadabra. The computer and Wilbur came back. Oh, Wilbur, said Winnie, you're bright blue. Whatever happened? Never mind, I'll change you back to black again. She went to the computer and clicked the mouse. Wilbur was black cat again. Good, said Winnie. It still works. But I think I'll keep my book of spells and my magic wand. I might need them one day. The end.